Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing my camera ready makeup. Um, so let's get into it. Hey guys, as I mentioned, um, I'm going to be doing my camera ready makeup. Um, compared to my previous everyday makeup routine, um, this one is definitely a lot more products, definitely a, more, a lot more coverage. Um, I try to keep my everyday of course very light, very simple, really fast. Um, but this one is for those occasions that I'm going to be in front of the camera um, for a long period of time, whether it's for photo shoot, filming, or sometimes even for big events uh, like gala events or just very social events. I like to have a full coverage. Um, just so in case you know that a lot of photos taken for every angle and I want to make sure I look good uh, the first thing I like to do is I will start with a primer um, I don't really have a favorite primer um, I just have purchased a few of them throughout the last few months and i am been trying to get rid of them all um, right now I'm currently using this one this is from elf it's called the moisture like primer um, I decided to get this because usually the winter season usually makes my skin really really dry uh, so I really would like a lot of moisture to be locked into my face remember moisturizing is really good so my face right now is moist um, I did my morning routine and my hands are clean so I just put it a little bit well actually I really don't care um, and then put it all over my face for those who don't know what primers are, um, it basically creates like a layer between your skin and the makeup. So if you have like a textured skin or any problems with your skin or to just try not to intoxicate your skin too much, primer is definitely your best way to go. So after everything is nice and blended, now we're gonna go to the foundation. From the foundation, I have a few options. Of course, it depends on where I'm going, what I'm going to be doing, and also what season it is. So usually during the winter season, I tend to be very light. Um, of course, it's like the sun goes down at 3 p.m. and it's crazy. Um, so I have a few options of foundations. This is the stuff that I purchased throughout the years. You know, of course, I have. A lot more that I already finished or threw out because they were just not worth it. it smells so good. I'm in the shade da -da -da -da, 30. Ironically, I like to put it on the palm of my hand. Well, the top of my hand. I'm gonna just use two. And I'm going to be mixing it with my ELF foundation. I'm in the shade right now um beige and the reason why i like to mix this two is even though i'm in my light shade i'm not really that light uh, i'm like maybe like one shade over my light so if i use just the chanel one it's going to be a little too light so i like to mix a little bit with the elf to kind of give me that perfect shade um and i'm going to use a blending brush Slowly blend it in, in my hand. I'm gonna use it like a canvas, and then put it on my face. Remember to always take your time blending. Alright, so we have blended in the foundation on my skin. Um, now, for the next step is concealer. I like to use my ELF concealers, but not, um, depends on the location as well. Um, this tends to be, of course, two different shades. One for my under eyes and one for my regular, you know, spot treatment. Concealer under my eyes because we want to look awake. I'm using the shade Fair from L down the bridge of my nose. I like to do a little bit of contour. And the reason why is because normally when um, when you put on foundation, uh, you kind of like modify everything because everything is just one shade. Uh, so you kind of want to like bring out those highlights 
uh, spaces on your face. Use a blending brush. After that is blended, now we're gonna start concealing any imperfections that I may have on my skin. Um, normally it's like a pimple or a scar or anything that I would like to cover that the foundation didn't cover yet. Um, so let's do that now. you guys blend almost everything in uh, my next step is to powder everything um, we are going to use my HD powder that I also use in my everyday makeup routine um, and we're just gonna be setting the whole face um, I would like to start by setting the under eyes first and then blending the rest After everything is blended in and powdered and everything is so far so good, um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit of a secret. Um, I like to use mascara, um, but I don't use it on my lashes. I actually use it uh, on the hair, on my eyebrows and my beard. Uh, the reason why is normally when I use foundation, uh, it tends to lighten the color of my hair. So I like to kind of bring back the color of it and accentuate my features um, by using this. Um, and here I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So I take the mascara, um, and then the color black of course, and also I've been doing this trick for years now and it has been a life savior. Uh, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it slowly over the hair, my eyebrows, and my beard. Um, but I'm not going to... I'm going to be putting it against the hair first. So for my eye ones, will be down. Remember, go against the hair first. Just to kind of like put in the product first. So go against the hair first. So, and it's the same thing with the beard. I like to put the product against the hair. Now that the product is on the hair, I like to use one of these little brushes. I don't know what they're called. They kind of like the mascara brushes you find like a Sephora for child. Um, but I like to consider this kind of like a printing brush. So what I like to do is, is still go against the hairs to kind of distribute the product. Blend then against the hair so you can, can distribute the product into the hair first. And then you're going to start brushing the hair exactly where you want it to be so what this does it just colors in the hair instead of color coloring your skin so it doesn't give you you know a more defined look it still give you that very nice natural look while still defining your features okay all right now that I'm done uh, with, if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, um, it's definitely more defined. Um, and now my next step is chopstick. Where's my chopstick? There you go. 
can never leave the house with this just like um, throughout the day of filming I normally would bring up sit and spray all my friends know how much I love sit and sprays um, there's a phrase that I usually say every time I put it on um, and you will see what it is um, but this one is uh, nails modified mist um, and this is just going to refresh your skin um, also, this is a modified one, so it tends to help you. So, um, normally when filming, you know, mostly filming and taking photo shoots, it tends to be very oily because sometimes it can get really hot. Um, so, I tend to put a lot of powder. So, to avoid the use of too much powder, I tend to just use this instead. Um, but this also helps you setting everything up too. I guess I love this shit. <laughs> That's the phrase. I love this shit. Literally, I can literally put this on all day, every day. All right, guys. Um, I just did my hair, um, and I'm ready to start off the day. Um, I have a lot of photo shoots today, a lot of filming to do today. Um, so I'm definitely ready now to do all this. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, if you have any tips of your own that you guys can suggest, make sure you guys um, leave a comment. Or just say hi I would love to hear from you guys um, if you guys want more information about the products that I use um, the routine that I just did um, everything will be linked on my website haveyourtoots.com you can guys um, check out everything there um, and make sure you guys follow me on our social media accounts I have my personal ones my um, artist.com once um, everything will be out there um, and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video bye